The troubles continue for the iconic retailer Sears. The company announced today it would close 80 more Sears and Kmart stores nationwide. 10 News reporter John Horn explains why it could take billions to keep the lights on at the rest of them. As Americans began to gravitate to online shopping, Sears never really caught on. A decision that has haunted the retail chain. Infrequently, probably, you know, very rarely. This could be one of the last times Nate Hathaway actually shops at Sears. He came to this one in Chula Vista to pick up a freezer he found on the internet where he makes most of his purchases. It's convenient. You can you can compare everything at that moment that you're online. And Sears on a multi-year slide as shoppers gravitated to competitors that more quickly adapted to the internet. The company, which also owns Kmart, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in October. The plan reorganized to smaller stores, closing about 200 unprofitable locations. I think it's probably common to what most of the brick and mortar stores are facing, which is a lot of people do all their orders online and then come pick their stuff up. Sears set a Friday afternoon deadline for takeover bids or face potential liquidation. Citing anonymous sources, CNBC reports Sears chairman Eddie Lampert submitted a proposal to buy the company a potentially $4.6 billion price tag. Sears declined to comment. Hathaway says it could take a new approach to turn it around. There are a lot of ways to, to get customers in. Miro Kopik, a San Diego State business professor, says Sears could already have a path forward. He noted its sales have been up this holiday season compared to 2017. John Horn, 10 News. Sears still has six San Diego County locations, including outlets and auto centers. None of them are on the company's list of future closures.